The Brazilian Armed Forces is the unified military organization comprising the Brazilian Army, the Brazilian Navy and the Brazilian Air Force. Brazil's armed forces are the second largest in the Americas, after the United States, and the largest in Latin America, and the Southern Hemisphere by the level of military equipment, with 334,500 active duty troops and officers. Brazilian soldiers were in Haiti from 2004 until 2017, leading the United Nations Stabilization Mission. The armed forces of Brazil are divided into three branches, the military police alongside the military firefighters corps are described as an auxiliary and reserve force of the army. All military branches are part of the Ministry of Defense. The Brazilian Navy which is the oldest of the Brazilian armed forces, includes the Brazilian Marine Corps and the Brazilian Naval Aviation. 18 to 45 years of age for compulsory military service, conscript service obligation, 10 to 12 months. 17 to 45 years of age for voluntary service. An increasing percentage of the ranks are long service volunteer professionals. Women were allowed to serve in the armed forces beginning in the early 1980s when the Brazilian army became the first army in South America to accept women into career ranks. Women serve in Navy and Air Force only in Women's Reserve Corps. South America is a relatively peaceful continent in which wars are a rare event. As a result, Brazil hasn't had its territory invaded since year 1865 during the Paraguayan War. Additionally, Brazil has no contested territorial disputes with any of its neighbors and neither does it have rivalries, like Chile and Bolivia have with each other. However, Brazil is the only country besides China and Russia that has land borders with 10 or more nations. Moreover, Brazil has 16,880 kilometers of land borders and 7,367 kilometers of coastline to be patrolled and defended. Overall, the armed forces have to defend 8.5 million square kilometer of land and patrol 4. 4 million square kilometer of territorial waters, or Blue Amazon, as the Brazilian Navy calls them. To achieve this mission, significant manpower and funding is required. Since 1648 the Brazilian armed forces have been relied upon to fight in defense of Brazilian sovereignty and to suppress civil rebellions. The Brazilian military also has three times intervened militarily to overthrow the Brazilian government. The Brazilian armed forces were subordinated to the emperor, its commander-in-chief. He was aided by the ministers of war and navy in regard to matters concerning the army and the armada, respectively. Traditionally, the ministers of war and navy were civilians but there were some exceptions. The model chosen was the British Parliamentary or Anglo-American system, in which the country's armed forces observed unrestricted obedience to the civilian government while maintaining distance from political decisions and decisions referring to border security. The military personnel were allowed to run and serve in political offices while staying on active duty. However, they did not represent the army or the armada but instead the population of the city or province where elected. Dom Pedro I chose nine military personnel as senators and five to the state council. During the regency, two were chosen to the senate and none to the state council as there was no council at the time. Dom Pedro II chose four military personnel to become senators during the 1840s, two in the 1850s and three until the end of his reign. He also chose seven military personnel to be state councillors during the 1840s and 1850s and three after that. It has built a tradition of participating in UN peacekeeping missions such as in Haiti and East Timor. Below a list of some of the historical events in which the Brazilian armed forces took part, Brazilian Expeditionary Force, initially composed of an infantry division, eventually covered all Brazilian military forces who participated in the conflict. Including the Brazilian Air Force who did a remarkable job in the last nine months of war with 445 missions executed. Offensive, 2546, Defensive, 4. Although no military coups occurred during the 67 years of the Brazilian Empire, the Republican period experienced four military coups d'état in the 75 years between 1889 and 1964. General Walter Braga Neto, the current defense minister. Ministry of Defense of Brazil On July 10, 1999, the Ministry of Defense was created, with the abolition of the MFA and the merger of all three ministries of the armed forces into a singular ministry of the cabinet. Army High Command HQ in Brasilia Joint Staff of the Armed Forces is an agency of the Ministry of Defense of Brazil, which centralizes the coordination of command of the armed forces, Army, Navy, and Air Force. It was created by Complementary Law No. 136 of August 25, 2010, and has an Ordnance No. 1429 its operating guidelines. 
advising the Minister of Defense in the upper direction of the armed forces, aiming the organization, preparation and employment, in order to fulfill its constitutional mission and its subsidiaries' assignments. With the goal strategic planning and the joint use of the military services. It is up to Jay's plan together and integrated employment of staff of the Navy, Army, and Air Force, optimizing the use of the military and logistical support in the defense of the country and in peacekeeping. Humanitarian and rescue operations, border security, and civil defense actions. The body has its powers and duties according to the regimental structure approved by Decree 7. 9744, April 1, 2013. Since its inception, the JACE has worked with the Central Administration of the Ministry of Defense, on the Esplanade of Ministries in Brasilia. The head of the JACE is private of a general officer of the last post, active or reserve, designated by the Ministry of Defense and appointed by the President. Their hierarchical level is the same of the military commanders of the Navy, Army, and Air Force. Under the coordination of the Joint Armed Forces also operates the Committee of Chiefs of Staffs of the Military Services. The current head of JASF is the Army General Larte de Souza Santos. The Army High Command of Brazil is formed by the Army Commander and other Army Generals in active service. The country current have 16 active four-star generals, several of them in command posts, in addition to a post in the Ministry of Defense. The mission of ACE include the selection of a list of candidates to the post of commander, the prospection of regional and global political situations, among others roles. All Brazilian generals are graduates of the Brazilian Superior War School. The Navy has eight bases throughout Brazil. The Brazilian Air Force is the second largest air force in the Americas and has around 70,000 active personnel. The FAB is subdivided into four operational commands. Code of Arms of Aerospace Operations Command The Aerospace Operations Command is a Brazilian Air and Space Command created in 2017 and is part of the Brazilian Air Force. Is responsible for planning, coordinating, executing and controlling the country's air and space operations. The Brazilian Navy and Brazilian Army also are part of the organization. Soft Brazilian Marines Brazil has the need to patrol its 16,880 kilometers of land borders. Since the 1990s Brazil has been relocating its forces in accordance to this national security requirement. Between 1992 and 2008, the 1st, 2nd and 16th Jungle Infantry Brigades, the 3rd Infantry Battalion, the 19th Logistics Battalion, and the 22nd Army Police Platoon. Were transferred by the Army from the states of Rio de Janeiro and Rio Grande do Sul to the Amazon region in accordance with the friendship policy with Argentina. After those redeployments the number of army troops in that region rose to 25,000. Also relocated from the state of Rio de Janeiro were the 1st and 3rd Combat Cars Regiment, now stationed in the city of Santa Maria, in the state of Rio Grande do Sul. However, despite those efforts, the presence of the armed forces on the border regions of the Brazilian Amazon continues to be sparse and disperse. Given the fact that the army has just 28 border detachments in that area, a total of 1,600 soldiers, or one man for every seven kilometers of borders. More redeployments are expected since the states of Rio de Janeiro, Minas Gerais and Espirito Santo still concentrate over 49,000 soldiers. In May 2008, the Navy announced new plans to reposition its forces throughout Brazil. The Brazilian territory corresponds to 47. 3% of the South American continent, and its land border is over 16. 000 km and 4,5 million square kilometer of sea territory. With the objective of ensuring Brazil's sovereignty, strategic monitoring and communications projects have been launched in recent years. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro at the inauguration of the Space Operations Center in Brasilia, June 2020. The Geostationary Defense and Strategic Communication Satellites or SGDC, are geostationary communication satellites developed by the Brazilian Air Force and the Brazilian Space Agency. Created with the objective of operating strategic military, government and civil communications, also offering broadband internet throughout the national territory. The first satellite called SGDC-1, was launched in 2017 and the SGDC-2 has planned to launch in 2022. The Space Operations Center was inaugurated in 2020, subordinated to the Aerospace Operations Command, with the objective of operating the satellites. Ponapora Radar Station The Integrated Border Monitoring System is a border system developed by the Brazilian Army for supporting operational employment decisions, operating in an integrated manner with all defense systems in the country. 
whose purpose is to strengthen the presence and capacity for monitoring and action in the national land border strip. Was conceived at the initiative of the Army Command, as a result of the approval of the National Defense Strategy in 2008, which guides the organization of the armed forces. The CISFRON are deployed along the 16,886 kilometers of the border line, favoring the employment of organizations subordinate to the North, West, Southern and the Amazon military commands. The Blue Amazon Management System is a surveillance system developed by the Brazilian Navy in order to oversee the Blue Amazon, the country's exclusive economic zone and a resource-rich area covering about 4. 500,000 square kilometers off the Brazilian coast. This area is home to a huge diversity of marine species, valuable metallic minerals and other mineral resources, petroleum, and the world's second-largest rare earth reserve. The CISGAS integrates equipment and systems composed of radars incorporated on land and vessels, as well as high-resolution cameras and features such as the fusion of information received from collaborative systems. The Link BR2 is a data link developed by the Air Force and the Brazilian defense company Al Sistemas. This technology allows the exchange of data such radar information. Videos and images with other units of the three branches anytime and anywhere a using an advanced encrypted protocol with a high degree of security. Thanks for watching.